Are you ready for war? Apparently I'm a threat. All right, all right. I'm a little nerd. I'm a little nerd. Oh, wait, 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 here you go. Oh, is this me? <gasps> oh, I am so awesome. Yes, I am. Oh, wait, 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 wait. just hateful and hurtful they're downright harassing and for me I don't you know give you an example I had my cousin's daughter decide to go on Facebook who's a friend of mine um, and start hating and hating and hating on me and I'm like are you serious you don't know the story you're 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 talking to someone else your opinion you don't know me okay so apparently I offended her. Call, call me condescending and all this stuff. Well, she didn't know she was talking to my husband. Well, she kept getting rude and kept getting rude, okay? And she kept having more opinions. Well, my husband shut her down real quick. So, I ended up, she ended up blocking me, but I ended up blocking her. And I, I, I made a comment told her I'm so sorry that this went out of hand. It was done. Well, apparently her opinion still is going on. So, what I'm getting at is your opinions and your comments and what you think of people are not right. I'm sorry. Get me? Don't get me wrong, but there have been some people I have come across that they think their, their opinions don't stink. That whatever they have to say and whatever they do 
is the most important thing. In. I'm a bad oh, person. Well, she anyway. Was really standing there. Okay. I was trying to go back again first. So, okay, here's the deal. Shows you need to be quicker. If you do, if you have your opinions, okay, you have your opinions. Let me get a fresh perspective. Can I get your perspective on something? Oh. You, know, I'm talking on here about opinions. How some people can say hurtful, hateful, harassing, downright rude opinions. Where does that lead you to? Oh. No. Depression? Everyone has their own opinions. Whether they want to speak them or not, it's their choice. But for those who speak more negatively, can shut up a little and be a little more positive. Well, how, but how does it, the, whenever, whenever, let me ask you this. When a person is um, offended by a comment, hi, si hi sister and my brother, um, my question for you is, is, you know these people that take everything to heart and, and get upset about it? And then they want to make a comment back. You, you know what I'm saying? What they do is what they should do is take a minute, take a breath, think of it, and then get, then decide what to do. That's right. Samantha did say depression. She did say depression, Mike. She really did. Um, and she 
she's right. Because, uh, like I said, I could t I'll give you another one. I'll give you another uh, occasion that happened. Um, some, when I was going through my divorce, and, of course, you know, my ex still treats me like crap anyways. Goes behind my back and talks. But here's the deal. Somebody made an opinion about me, and I took it to heart. I got upset. I cried. And the next thing I know, I wanted to just, I blocked the person. But I was thinking, I just want to tear them up in a, in a, in a post. What is that going to do? Is that going to make me feel any better? No. It's going to no. add to the drama. Yeah. Great. I just love that. It will add to the drama. She's totally right. It will add to the drama. He said, you're very right. She's got a he leveled head. And she knows. She's the one I go to with a lot of, you know, like insight. The, it's like the movie, it's like the movie Bambi. Like Thumper says, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Yes, Frank, I got it. Thank you. Sorry, I've been so busy at work. Oh my lord, it has been one thing after another. I started some new stuff at work. So, yeah. So, you know, and, and I think another reason why a lot of people is, is nowadays, you know, and also too, when you think somebody's saying something bad, they're not saying something bad. You know what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. Like what, the poop emoji? I mean, some people... Take that literally as in texting. Yeah. You cannot take anything seriously in text because you do not get all the emotion that comes with it. See what I'm talking about? She's right. I really think she's right. You can't. You can't. You don't know what that person's. You don't know what they're. It's like what I said about their mood. You never know what the person's going to be in. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally. I mean, you never know what they're going to be. Like, look, look, check this out. Dude, dude, check this out. You'll never know what mood I'm going to be in. See? I could be in a scary mood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here's, here. Oh, wait. Wait. People actually like this. What? No. No. No, I don't like, I don't like moods like this. Or better yet, here you go. Go back to it. Emotions run high when you do anything and everything when it comes to comment. So, just because somebody doesn't come back, comment to you, does back to you quick enough, and then they, they, you say something and then you get escalated. I think that's where everything gets mixed up. I mean, seriously. I mean, oh, there's Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Frank was there too. Wayne's word, party on, excellent. Totally. Oh, don't go there. You know, you could be, I can't believe what you, you bring that up. Okay, somebody else could be in another world. Too much hate in the world, that's right. Okay, you could be like Beavis and Butthead. Butthead. Okay, you could be in that kind of mood, okay? Okay? Or you could be like, um, uh, what is another one? Is it Courage the Cowardly Dog that he's always stressed out all the time because he's worried about Muriel? <laughs> All the things I do for love. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It all goes together. And if you're experiencing that and you're in to a text or you <laughs> a post an event or anything, you never know where it's gonna go. I know it's kinda sad though, guys. I'm just trying to see what time it was. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. What time is it guys? Four minutes till four. <gasps> crud will you get this so anyways guys have a blessed and wonderful day I challenge you I challenge you make a comment 
about if you do um, good works by going and telling somebody you love them. Get in your scripture. Get in your Bible. Do something. Do something and post it. I would love to see a post from one stating that. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. I, now, this don't go for you, Mike. Pastor Mike and you and Sandy because you guys can do you guys do all kinds of stuff. But you know what? That's right, get your Yahoo on. Yahusha! Now, um, I'm gonna tell you about one um one that I've been promoting. So before I get off here. Um uh, you know guys who I'm part of the ministry, KLM for Yahusha. Check them out on YouTube and here on Facebook is Pastor Mike. Or Michael, and then there's Levi Khan on YouTube, Michael Singleton, or John Singleton on YouTube. Also, there's another one. It's, um, oh my goodness, it's Samuel and Daniela, and they are amazing. Uh, Pastor Mike, I think you could put that down there for me so I can do it. I think it's Remnants on Fire for Jesus. Um, and I'm telling you, these people are up-and-coming youngsters that have been shut down on YouTube. And I'm telling you, they are amazing. Yoho has really blessed them. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Um, there's a couple other ones that I actually have watched, and I am, I am amazed. Um, there's also the Anointed One. She is amazing. And then there's, um, uh... All right, Sam, have a great day. I love you. Just go straight in and clock in. Go ahead and go clock in. Um, there's a, several other ones that are amazing, guys, oh, and I'm going to tell you. So, uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. I, I, I think we should go in. Why? Can we get drinks? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Remnant on fire for Jesus Christ. I got it right. See? Ah, uh, heaven watch it. But I do want to admit, and there's there's Minister Paul as well. Um, and then there's another one. I can't think of it. Why is going to drive me nuts? So, I can't think of it. Um, is it something it, it's sandy's one i can't remember what it was there was another one there's a couple of them that i will uh i will um add on on facebook that i will look up so i'm going to tell you something get in the word get in the scripture pray repent accept jesus as your personal savior because time is ticking tick tick me for it'll be it won't be any of this cuteness anymore so, and your time on earth is your time to glorify him and get people in a church. And to be a Christ follower. That's right. Oh, Jesus is Lord Sandy. That's it. That's the other one. She's amazing. Now, these people, they don't have a whole bunch of subs. If you would sub to them or at least watch their videos, you'll see where we, we're coming from. Where I'm coming from. From what I've learned. I've watched a lot of them and I'm telling you... Ooh, they are. They put that. You know they anointed. You know there's that spirit in there. All right, guys. I need to get off here. I need to spend some time with my girl over here. Yeah, my girl. I try this party. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> All right, guys. Glorify the Lord. And Ale uh, Shalom Elohim. Love root.